Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio Debut, you have the ability to import certain external files. On top of this, there are some preset files you can import as well. To import, simply go to File, Import, and at the top here you have access to audio, characters, effects, images, props, and scenes. All of these are preset and built into Anime Studio. So let's say you need a piece of audio. You can go to Audio, Sound Effects, and let's say you need something in the category of a bang or a boom. Well, we can come down here to Boom 2 and bring that in. You can see the audio file is now in the timeline as well as my layers panel. And if I play it, we can hear it. So I'll just get rid of this. And now let's go back to File, Import. And this time, let's bring something else in. How about a scene? Go down to Scenes, and now we have access to Animated, Backgrounds, and Partners. Well, if we want an animated scene, we can go here. And let's choose Tree of Life. You can see a new scene has been brought in as a group on our Layers panel. And if I page forward, we obviously have some animation going on here. I can get rid of this. And now let's go back to File, Import. And this time, let's try bringing in an image. Go to Photographs, and let's choose Beach One. Here you can see an image has been brought in. It's an image layer on our Layers panel. And now we can go about our business and edit the image or animate it accordingly. So let's say we want to bring in some external files. Well, if we go to File, Import, we have access to Anime Studio Object, Image, Movie, and Audio File. If we go to Anime Studio Object, we can search for an Anime Studio document to look at and pick and choose layers from that. So I'll choose this one and click Open. And now you can see all the layers that I currently have on that document. So I'll choose a chair and click OK. The chair is now imported into the document. And we can now, of course, edit it, animate it, do whatever we want with it. You also have access to other file types, such as the image. And movie files. as well as audio files. And those are the type of files you can import into Anime Studio Debut. Make sure to visit the Anime Studio website for more information. Thanks for watching guys. I have many more tutorials out there, so check them out, and I'll see you next time.